Hello, Janice. Hi, Anthony. Today we're going to talk about, or we're going to try to answer the question actually, of how will your executor handle a Bitcoin crash? So, you know, how will your executor handle a Bitcoin winter, um, another name for a Bitcoin crash, uh, like the one we're living through right now? Fun, fun times, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll compare a few likely scenarios depending on who you've chosen as your executor and how they may or may not handle um probating or handling estate or trust assets through a crash. But first, a few assumptions. Uh, You, the listener, we're assuming that you're a maxi, quote unquote, or a a Bitcoin maximalist, meaning someone who who really, if I could sum it up for, you know, Hmm. stereotype a broad spectrum of people, just someone who really values, (laughs) someone who really values Bitcoin in and of itself and not for its conversion value to dollars. I think that's the simplest base um, definition I can come up with. Uh, the other second assumption is that you, you, the listener, want your heirs to inherit the actual Bitcoin you've accumulated and not just the fiat or dollar value as of the date of your death. Um, I want my son to have Bitcoin, not have whatever the dollar exchange rate is at that time. Right. Yep. And, the, and lastly, you believe uh, you believe Bitcoin's value in dollars will probably be very volatile for several more years. So you understand that even if it's, quote unquote, down uh, during your probate you want your executor to hang on, to not sell. Yeah. All right. So here's a few scenarios. Okay. First, uh, okay, fine. What if I choose a professional executor? They're professionals, right? But, um, you know, they should do a good job, but what if they don't get Bitcoin? And what do I mean by that? So there's probably many, there are many, uh, attorneys and banks who are very savvy and very experienced at being a professional executor, uh, and running probate. Yeah. Uh, banks have whole departments called uh, trust officers that, that handle this, and there are several uh, intelligent and competent and, uh, you know, just great peers, attorneys who do yep, this as well. Absolutely. Yeah. But now you have to do that, find those folks, and then apply a cross-section of do they have any knowledge of Bitcoin? You, they might, but more likely, even if they have any knowledge, um, and most Maxis will probably agree with this, they're probably more about knowing about crypto in general. Right. Which, um, Janice, I don't know if you just noticed this distinction, uh, Bitcoin maximalists consider themselves completely separate from the rest of the crypto universe. I'm, yes, I'm, get, I'm gathering. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, you're, if you're a professional executor, whether it's um, you, you know, your individual attorney or if it's J.P. Morgan Chase or Wells Fargo, if they have a light understanding of crypto in general, I mean, they're going to associate Bitcoin with the current um, crash topic is, that, what is it, Luna or Terra? I mean, they're just going to... They yeah. go, oh, all crypto is going down. Sell, 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 right? Right, right. They're going to see what they see on the news. There's just a little bit of information. Yeah, yep. I mean, are, are they going to, if even if they're the most professional executor or tr- experienced trustee, are they going to be able to withstand the media and social and whatever pressure that comes, comes with any, like stock market crash, commodities crash, any crash, or are they going to sell? I'm thinking they're going to sell, I mean, right? I think because I'm like they're... implying what I think the answer is with my tone, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 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 yes, that's that's the most likely outcome with a professional executor but who doesn't get Bitcoin the way the way you get it. <laughs> right. All right, so fine, you choose your your buddy or your fellow hodler who's who's definitely a maxi, who's definitely a ma- a Bitcoin maximalist but has never been an executor before or, or has done it maybe once, you know, for his his aunt, whatever, an amateur right. essentially. So, okay, great. He has similar values. He wants to huddle, which I only recently found out st- stands for hold on for dear life. I thought it was just a misspelling <laughs> of hold, but anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, he wants to huddle too. So, great. Um, but, like I said, he has very limited or no experience doing probate or anything legal, right? He's just a dude. Right. You know? Yeah. So, when, 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 he's, when he's named executor and he's going through probate and Bitcoin is going through a crash cycle or a winter cycle, and the heirs are banging down the door. You need to sell my inheritance now and transfer and give me this, my inheritance in cash. There's sob stories. You know, my dad would have wanted me to have, you know, 50,000, not 100,000. You're, you're ruining my, my legacy. There's threats of lawsuits. You are breaching your fiduciary duty. You are personally liable for any loss because you are the executor. So your, your, your buddy, the maximalist Bitcoin friend who's never done this before, is he going to be able to, to, to gird himself and withstand these sob stories, threats, uh, emotional pe- appeals, and hold on to the Bitcoin and transfer it to his kids, to your kids, excuse me, or to your heirs, how you right. wanted him to? No, because that just in and of itself sounds exhausting, yeah. right? And 
So you're, you're dealing with that and then you're having to hold on for dear life. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. And honestly, <laughs> like this would be blunt. Um, if they don't understand how to defend themselves or how, what, how, how firm their, their, their footing is, sure, they may be convicted enough to protect their own stack of Bitcoin. But it might when the when the when the when, when it comes down to it, they might say, you know what, you want to you want to make my life a living heck, then just take. I'll just sell your Bitcoin. It's, it's your yep. your problem, right? Fine, right, right. Leave me alone. <laughs> and right, because, yeah. Because if you don't know, and you you know you do five minutes of googling, you think oh, I'm going to get in trouble because it's just crashing, and, and and you got the pressure from. We've talked about this at length. How much pressure an executor is under anyway. Yep. Then you add in this whole Bitcoin and Maxi, and yeah. So I mean, yes, you can have your best friend who shares or is very close to you in values of how he how he considers uh, Bitcoin important, but will he be able to take the heat in the kitchen? Basically, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So the last option is to find a professional Bitcoin executor, meaning a professional executor who's also um, kind of has similar uh, viewpoint view worldviews on Bitcoin as you do as a maximalist. And the analogy I would use is from a movie called The Big Short, or a book slash uh, movie called The Big Short. Did you watch that movie, Janice? Um, nope. <laughs> I have not seen it, but so it's about I the financial will watch crisis. It to yeah, yeah. So okay. there's, there's an investor named Michael Burry. Uh, during the financial crisis, he was holding a bunch of money. He he ran a fund. I'm, I'm summarizing, so you know, don't pick me apart here. Yeah. But he was he ran a fund holding a lot of money for a lot of different people, and he shorted the market, the real estate market, right before the crash of 2008. But the way that works is while the, while the real estate market was pumping and doing well right before the crash, the shorts or his positions were losing a ton of money, okay? So the whole time, all his investors are, give me my money back. I want to withdraw. I'm going to sue you. You know, you are, you know, you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. Like, what are you doing with my money? All in like, the most intense pressure you can imagine. And the whole time, uh, uh, Burry is saying, no, trust me, no. And he even went so far to take sort of very technical uh, steps, I think it was called a side pocket, to avoid his investors legally rec- compelling him to withdraw their money. He basically went to extra steps to keep the money in place. And then, you know, short, short, er, you know, the summary or the end of the story is that real estate market blew up, the re- Great Recession happened, and all those shorts exploded. And he, I think he like... He made them 400 times their money. So he, he just, something like that. He, and then. Sounds like an I, I told you so. Yeah, yeah. So the whole the scene in the movie <laughs> is at the end, Christian Bale, who plays Michael Burry, sends out one email that says, it's like a one liner, says, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, what is the point of this, uh, you know, recant, recant of this movie? In our estate scenario, during a Bitcoin winter where you're, you, you believe and your executor believes, you need a Michael Burry type executor who not only is convicted, but also has the knowledge, the technical knowledge of how to make sure this carries through, who's able to do the probate version of a side pocket to make sure he, stand, he withstands all the accusations, threats, and whatever, yep. and delivers the Bitcoin to your heirs as you would want him to. Yes. And I humbly hope I'm somebody who can <laughs> fill that role. Um, I, I honestly don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to have to deal with all those phone calls and all the. But if I, if I did, I... But we will. Yeah. 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 So I, I do have the experience as an executor, and I am beginning to see uh, see the light of the uh, of the Bitcoin um, values. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I know a guy, right? <laughs> kind of fits the criteria. He's done this yeah, a couple of times. Uh, he also wrote a book, How to Hire an Executor. Um, definitely recommend it. But but like you said, this is what this is what you do. We, you focus on being an executor. You're, you understand the crypto world. And this is just a good uh, fit the for someone. Bitcoin world, ma'am. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. As you can tell, I'm not a... Uh, <laughs> What was the word? Maxi. I'm not. I'm, I'm working. Listen, I'm learning. <laughs> but that's why I'm not an executor, and you are. <laughs> very good. Cool. All right. Well, um, I hope this one was very specific. There's probably going to be like 100 listeners who are very specific to this one, but whatever. Yeah, Hopefully, this great. message yeah. resonates with them. Okay. Well, thank you for listening, you 100 people. And uh, thank you, Janice, as always. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. We'll talk soon next time. Talk soon. Take care.